For many patients with a serious medical condition, not being familiar with the course of treatment they need to undergo can be a frightening prospect. This video will guide you on what you as a patient can expect during the gamma knife treatment process. Following a referral from your general practitioner or specialist, you will consult with a neurosurgeon or oncologist who will assess your condition and determine whether gamma knife radiosurgery would be the best treatment option for you. If you are identified as a suitable candidate, you will be offered the next available appointment at the Gamma Knife SA Centre, situated at Netcare Mill Park Hospital in Johannesburg, in order to undergo treatment. You will be supported throughout your treatment by members of the multidisciplinary Gamma Knife treatment team. Upon your arrival at the Gamma Knife SA Centre, the treatment team will explain the procedure to you and you will be offered a sedative to help you relax. You will be taken to the procedure room where either the radiation oncologist or the neurosurgeon will place a metal frame onto your head and secure it by means of four pins, a few millimetres into your scalp. To make the procedure as comfortable as possible for you, a local anaesthetic will be injected into the areas where the pins will secure the frame to your head. Once the frame has been fitted, you will be ready for detailed imaging studies done through an MRI scan and in some cases also a CT scan. A member of the Gamma Knife SA team will escort you to the radiology unit where the scans will be done. Even if you have had an MRI or CT scan before, it must be repeated with the frame in place in order to precisely define the exact location, size and shape of the area to be treated. Once the imaging has been completed, you will be taken back to the Gamma Knife SA Centre to relax while the radiation oncologist, neurosurgeon and physicist design your customised treatment plan using the data from the imaging scans. This process can take up to two hours. Once all three of them have signed off on the treatment plan, the Gamma Knife radiosurgery can commence. Depending on your specific condition, you may be fitted with a special mask which is molded to your face instead of the frame. The frame or mask ensures that the area to be treated can be targeted accurately. No general anesthesia is required for the treatment. You will be taken into the treatment room and asked to lie on your back on the gamma knife table. The frame on your head or mask will then be attached to the treatment couch. Once the table has been adjusted to a position most comfortable for you, it will slide into the gamma knife dome. The treatment team will leave the room to start the radiosurgery and will be managing your treatment from the adjacent room. You will remain in full view of the radiation oncologist, neurosurgeon and physicist via two CCTV monitors for the duration of the treatment. Sensitive microphones inside the treatment and control rooms allow you and the Gamma Knife treatment team to communicate at any stage throughout your treatment. Mrs. Singh, are you alright? Six more minutes left. Patients with a face mask can use the button to call the treatment team. You can also choose to listen to music and ask for the treatment to be halted at any time for a bathroom break or if you would like to be repositioned. The treatment usually takes between 20 and 90 minutes depending on your personalized treatment plan. When the treatment is over, the table will slide out of the machine to its original position. The Gamma Knife Dome doors will close and the treatment room door will open. You will be assisted off the table and back to the procedure room where your head frame or mask will be removed. You should not drive off to the treatment as you may feel tired or somewhat dizzy and should arrange for a family member or friend to fetch you from hospital. You may experience swelling in the areas where the frame was attached to your head or a mild headache but this is relatively rare. You will be able to leave the hospital after treatment, but your doctor may ask that you remain at the centre for a few hours for further observation. Gamma Knife Radiosurgery has given hope and quality of life to patients worldwide. We trust that this explanation of a typical Gamma Knife treatment will familiarise you with the process and that the experiences shared by some other Gamma Knife patients will help to put your mind at ease. Here is how other patients experience the treatment.